so here I am in any rail it's a model railway layout creation software and this is available for free so you can also try uh, experimenting with it today I wanted to show you my layout uh, in the software and how it looks overall and what I have been trying to do with it recently my layout is very small it's a n scale layout and uh, it's it it has a size of approximately like 25 inches uh, by 48 inches that is approx 2 feet by 4 feet the layout video that i had on my channel uh, which i'll be linking here is actually the old one where I didn't have these lines added so there is some update you will see on this layout if you have watched that video then you will see that there are some updates uh, which I have included in this layout and which I'll also be implementing on my layout so what you see here is uh, this main line so I'm just highlighting the line so you can better see uh, which line I'm talking about this is the main line I have two main lines on this layout so this is going to be my outer main line okay and there is also one inner main line which is uh, actually in this shape of a numerical 8 but it also has this bridge here so it has it has the ramps and then there is a bridge then there is also a ramp and then we go and uh, cross below the bridge so I don't have much space for the yard on my layout but I also wanted to have at least some place where I can have my trains uh, parked uh, since I am trying to run two trains and uh, one train which is a waiting train uh, on this yard here so I'm actually having two trains that will continuously run one on outer loop one in inner loop and then there will be another train which will be in a waiting which may be standing here parked here or parked here and then what we will do is uh, because I am trying to do automation on my layout I'll be having the one one of the train to come and park here and then this train will dispatch apart from the siding and the yard I also have a few connections where uh, points few connections and the points where we can switch the inner and outer loop so with this small engine section here uh, the track section here I also have this long section where I can park the trains park the trains that are waiting to be dispatched so I have in theory I have this one uh, section of uh, siding here which I can use then I can also use these two sections here for parking the trains and also use this little section to park the engines and then because uh, if you see this one this section here this is a new section this section uh, you, you will not see this section in my old layout so what I did is that I added this turnout and this turnout and uh, then created this outer loop extended it so I can use this existing outer loop section for the train parking I hope that makes sense then what we have if you talk about the points or the switches or turnouts um, now let's think about the scenario where you want to come in inside I mean from outer loop to inner loop then how you will be doing it well you have two options you come from here let's say you have this outer loop coming here so the train can come from outer loop here and then it can go from this turnout inside uh, on this section and then from here this turnout will make the train to run on the this inner section and then you can keep continuously running in inner section now if the train is running in inner section you want to go to outer section then you also have this option 
where from here you come and uh, I think yeah you can come from here you come here let's say you are in intersection here then you come to this turnout you switch here you switch here you come here uh, obviously you come like that and then you are on the outer section already so you can come outer section from here you can go inner section from here now the problem is how can you reverse the train so recently I have added this section these two turnouts and connected the inner and outer loop in this fashion so what it actually gives us is this this reverse loop okay this it, it creates this it creates this reverse loop okay from this turnout so we can utilize this reverse loop to reverse the trains the direction of the trains okay so that's enough talking let's go and see how our layout looks on a 3d view so okay here we have our beautiful looking 3d view many models I have seen uh, they don't have an idea of whether they can see 3d view in any rail so I wanted to little bit talk about uh, the 3d view of any rail so actually by default when you are creating your layout the any rail creates your 3d uh, layout automatically so you don't have to do anything fancy but of course if you want a proper representation of what's going on uh, the elevations and the mountains and the tunnels and bridges all you have to describe all you have to tell to the any rail where things are going up and down where there is elevation change so you have to feed any rail so accordingly it can create a more prototypical look of your layout for example i want to tell you that if you go to 2d design and let's say you wanted to have this bridge section here or um, this this tunnel section here so the, it is it is very easy to do what you have to do is just select the track which you want to let's say for example i want to create a tunnel from for these two tracks here okay for these two sections here so i'll just simply so i'll just simply select these tracks and go here and say hidden okay i'm just saying i'm just saying hidden and now if i go back to 3d view you will see that any rail has automatically put tunnels uh, on those two tracks which I have, which I have selected uh, now if I go back I don't want tunnels there because they are not in my layout so I'll just uh, select them and uh, I'll say standard so it will automatically remove the tunnels for example if I want to add a bridge I can do that by uh, let's say I want to bridge here I want to add a bridge here in this section I already have bridge here but let's see if I want to extend that little bit so I select that track section and then go to the bridge and just say bridge go to your 3d view and now you have the bridge extended till that point so it's very easy you can also uh, do uh, some visual some materials and lighting stuff here for example if you are in a 3d view you can change the color of a road bed okay you can change for example you can change the uh, ballast color here okay you can change the ballast color you can change the sleeper color to the to, to the textured one or you can have you can select a specific color and just uh, use that color as a as a ballast uh, as a sleeper color okay you can do uh, any color then you can also use uh, tracks textures uh, yes you can use track textures for these tracks or you can just use colors if you want to so I prefer colors here because uh, it's better to see the see the tracks maybe a uh, little bit gray this much okay I think gray is fine so <clears throat> I think um, let's go to the more colors that's fine okay so then you can also change the ground color add texture 
their things I, I like the plain green color so I just keep keep that underside you can change underside also you can change for example you can change how it looks inside the tunnel so that texture is also selectable from here and uh, you can also use the tunnel portal and bridge textures uh, the pillar the pillar and uh, tunnel portal textures uh, from here now if you want to change the colors of uh, or the intensity of the lights it's very easy to do you can just do it from here you can do it from uh, lights here you can switch on off the shadows if you want or if you don't want the shadows uh, and uh, yes I mean you can have different lights having different intensity you can obviously uh, turn off any layers like uh, you, if you don't want to see the ground you can turn it off from here turn it off turn turn the tracks off turn the ground off tunnels off so for example if I just want to examine the tracks I can just view the tracks here so it's very handy and it's very easy for you to visualize how your tracks how your entire layout is going to look after you have built it so you can find the problems you may have in the future and uh, that way you can work out and uh, you can basically have an alternative routes alternative layout uh, design ideas and uh, see if they can work in your space so what I will do now uh, is to show you one more feature of the uh, any rail which is uh, fly through so just to click on this FPS camera mouse and arrow key button here and uh, what I'm gonna do is use your arrow keys on your keyboard so just I'm just using the up arrow keys and using mouse button left mouse button to navigate or rotate the camera so I'm just going uh, I'm just trying to move on my layout have a virtual tour of my layout so this is a virtual tour of my layout it's not that uh, smooth but hey it's it's uh, fun to have a uh, tour of your own layout uh, inside this software